My name is Brenda White. I'm a cashier at Goodwill of the Southern Rivers. I came to Goodwill through education and training in July of 2014 and started cashiering in 2015 of Janu January of 2015. I used to manage uh, a truck stop and uh, it was a booming business. It was a, a it was a, a travel center, so we had the, the tourist side and the truck stop, and we was a big business. I was strong, and I raised my children. But uh, then I married the second husband and quit that job, and we started driving trucks, and you know I screwed up, went down the wrong road. And I was drinking at work and got took off the schedule. So I lost my job. My mother has custody of my two grandchildren that I love with all my heart. They're, they're the basis of why I started realizing that things were me, you know, because I would have them if I weren't drunk. Realized the only place to go was to the Lord. And, uh, so I done the rehab thing and spent time there. And I told my therapist, I'm homeless. You know, I don't have anything. Next thing I know, the lady from a shelter came out to where I was at and uh, she put me in a shelter. And uh, I've been in the shelter ever since. I now have an apartment on my own, but uh, I'm still in the shelter. They don't do anything for me now except monitor to make sure I don't relapse. Well, I have the Lord in my life now, and uh, I'm a Christian. It took them four years to get me clean. I have not relapsed in five years. I, I lay it all on uh, good people, people loving me. I didn't understand, I didn't understand people caring about other people. That was the hardest thing for me to understand. But uh, I've, I've come out of that strong. So they made me an appointment with a lady all by myself. She hooked me up with goodwill. But it, I just was trusting the Lord and making the next step, just making the next step. It, it, it makes me feel like I have something to live for. Um, it makes me feel like maybe grandma's important to those grandchildren now, you know? It makes me proud to say I'm part of Goodwill. When somebody asks me where I work, I say, Goodwill! <laughs> and I'm glad to say that. I'll tell you who keeps me going now, and that's Diane and Mike. Oh, Miss Sondra, when I pass her, Miss Sabrina, without all of them, it wouldn't be Goodwill. I work with uh, substance abuse survivors. I work in the peer support. I would advise them to go to the unemployment office and go to vocational rehab and talk to them about coming to Goodwill's training program. I have done that on many occasions. So I try to lead them to Goodwill, to the training program, and see won't it help them to better their lives. Because I know there's such good people here.